Microscopes are ubiquitous instruments. You find them in nearly every laboratory. But while they're widely used, they're almost never mastered. To move beyond the beginner's level of just playing around with pond scum and actually using the scope to capture images and make measurements, you'll need to master the condenser and the process of setting up the instrument for color illumination. Now let's go over the parts of the microscope. Top here are the ocular lenses. These are also called the eyepiece lenses. These are 10x or 10 power. This particular microscope is a trinocular scope. We have got an extra port here that we use for um, video or for taking still images. Beneath the eyepieces are the objective lens turret. Uh, that's this gadget here which is used to position the different lenses. There's three different objective lenses on this particular scope. A 4x or 4 power uh, when combined with the eyepiece lenses gives 40 power. There is a 10x for 100 power and a 40x for 400 power. Now, many scopes that you work with are going to have a 100 power immersion oil lens. When you use that with the 10x eyepieces, it's, it will give you a thousand um, power magnification. Immersion oil lenses are, de are designed to work with a, a specific type of high refractive index oil, uh, which is bet between the specimen and the uh, microscope objective lens. Most of the lenses that you'll be working with will have a, an air gap between the end of the objective lens and the top of the specimen. The specimen um, sits between these two jaws on the stage. There's a XY translation mechanism which moves it uh, back and forth, uh, positioning the specimen uh, beneath the objective lens. There's two scales here, which I'll note now. Uh, we're going to use those later on uh, for positioning a specimen and obtaining its precise coordinates so we can go back to the same spot. Directly beneath the stage is the condenser. The purpose of the condenser is to gather light that's coming from the uh, lamp and to focus it on the specimen. We move the stage up and down with the coarse focus knob and with a fine focus knob. The substage condenser has several different adjustments that we can make. Uh, there may be filter holders. Uh, there may be some accessory lenses which are used to help the uh, light. However, most basic Abbey condensers have a knob that allows you to vertically raise and lower the stage. And it will also have a condenser iris uh, which can be open and closed so that we can change the aperture setting on it. Beneath the condenser is the lamp housing. Your scope may or may not have a field iris. The purpose of the field iris is to assist us in, in getting color illumination. Um, it's not an essential part of the microscope. On the side of the scope, uh, we have an on-off switch for the lamp, and we have a rheostat. The rheostat adjusts the uh, amount of light to vary the intensity and gives us good control over it. To achieve color illumination, which is a method of illuminating the the specimen for its maximum contrast and for a flatness across the field. There are several steps. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is to lower the stage all the way down and we're going to put the four power microscope objective into place. The only time we ever use the coarse focus knob is with the lowest magnification as possible. For all other objective lenses we're going to use the fine focus only. If we have the 4x in, you can see we can raise the stage all the way up to the top and it won't touch the specimen. With the other lenses, there's a possibility of even the ones that have a um, bayonet mount, there's still a possibility of, of hitting the uh, lens and breaking the slide. So we only use the course of focus adjustment when we're using on, on the four power lens. Lowering it all the way down again, uh, we're gonna turn on the um, uh, lamp. Uh, we're gonna adjust the rheostat for a comfortable uh, light level. I'm going to lower the condenser a little bit. I like to raise it all the way to the top and then lower it, oh, about half a turn. Um, if we have a field iris or we're going to have it all the way open at this point and we're going to have the um, condenser iris, uh, we're going to push it all the way to the end so it's nearly closed and then open it slightly again. Okay. Only now, when we've got these adjustments, all of these adjustments you notice that we've made without bothering looking at the scope. We've been only looking at the scope. 
Once we're at this point in time, we can then look into the, into the um, eyepieces and make the next adjustments. Okay, now we're going to slowly raise using the coarse focus, the large knob. We're going to slowly raise the stage up until the specimen just comes into focus. Then we're going to use the fine focus knob to, uh, to get a, a sharp image. And again, this is done with the four power lens. Now we want to adjust the condenser. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to, if we have a field iris, close it down to it's just a pinpoint. It really only has two positions, open and close. So we're going to close the field iris if you have one. Um, if not, uh, we're going to use the close down the aperture on the substage condenser. We want to raise and lower the substage condenser until the edges of the iris aperture are in sharp focus. You'll see blurriness and birefringence when above or below the optimum level. So we're going to adjust it up all the way as far as we can, and then we're going to lower it. What we're looking for is to pass through that layer of blurriness to birefringence, to sharp focus, to birefringence, to blurriness again. And then we're going to raise it uh, slightly until we're back into, into sharp focus. Now, after setting the condenser height to its proper level, uh, we're not going to touch it again for, the, for this session again. We might adjust it again, uh, go back through there if we change specimens and the specimen is unusually thick, or if there's a, a, a viscous material to it, um, or if it's just the slide is of a, of a, of a, of a different weight. Um, otherwise, we're never going to touch the condenser height again. We're going to open the field iris all the way open. Again, it only has two positions, open and close. We're going to, we close it down when we're adjusting the substage condenser. We open it all the way for the rest of our observations. And then after that, we're going to make all of our changes to the image with either the rheostat, adjusting the amount of light, or with the condenser diaphragm aperture level. And that's going to give us more contrast. So. Uh, a clear, bright background will be done by the rheostat, and greater contrast within the specimen is done with the condenser diaphragm aperture.